guys, so I had uh, the same video planned for today, but I was gonna actually sit down and make a real video, but today did not go as planned. I had an emergency doctor visit, which was not fun, and I spent all day in town, and it was just no real so that's kind of disappointing, but ruled out some pretty scary possibilities, which is good. Um, I did want to come on here and remind you guys that voting is still going on for the top three flavors for the new Tia Vapes e-liquid line. I'm so excited with your guys' help and Bonsai Vapor. I'm going to be creating my first ever e-liquid flavor, and right now we've narrowed it down to the top three from hundreds of suggestions by you guys, and then you'd vote it on the top ten. Now you're voting on the top three, and you actually, if you go and vote on the top three you can be entered to win a giveaway and that get those giveaway rules are on last Monday's video but I'll go ahead and leave them below this video too if I remember like I said this day has not gone as planned like look, look at my hair like look at my hair oh my god I look like such a mess <laughs> um <clears throat> I also wanted to announce some winners so if I have any giveaways that are open right now except for the voting giveaway for the tea of apes flavor that one I'm gonna leave open for one more week um I'm gonna announce the winners here I cannot tell you off the top of my head who the winners are or what giveaways I'm picking but if there is an unpicked giveaway I think there is I'm pretty sure there is like the marina vape I think I launched that last week I can't remember I was on vacation so and that was really fun and I'll have a vlog from that soon it's really hard for me to just do little update videos like this because I want to talk to you guys so much and like I have a lot to say but I just <sighs> my day was horrible I'll tell you at the end of the video like what I have been going through in a second, but, um, okay, so what else? <laughs> Oh yeah, um, I'm doing my Patreon. If you guys didn't know that, you can check the Patreon out. There is super awesome monthly rewards at different tiers. And I'm going to be adding a level when we get to my first goal. I will be adding another level that includes e-liquid monthly from yours truly. So if that is an interesting prize to you, you can go check that out and all the other prizes that I offer. And I think I'll be adding, I might add another level, another prize level that will be like including a mod, but I'm not sure yet and I wouldn't launch that until like maybe January even if I was but my Patreons get to decide all of that oh my phone said it's dying um so what happened today <laughs> let me tell you it deserves a glass of wine that's why and my dogs love my dogs okay Clorox wipe because I think Doug is sick so wiping down everything he touches I don't want to get sick um so we went on vacation if you didn't know I was on vacation all week last week from Friday to Friday and I have a pimple right here you see it <laughs> um so it was so much fun and we drove back Friday and it was nine and a half hours of driving I prefer to drive anyway I like road trips and we had a really great time so Friday night we're sitting on the couch totally exhausted from driving and everything and just like not even unpacked or anything yet we just turn on our Netflix and we are watching American Horror Story I think at the time we were still on Freak Show but now we're on um, Hotel I love this series though it's so creepy and freaky and weird but I'm like I'm into it and so we're sitting there and I have my legs like stretched out over him on the couch and my leg my thigh like my inner thigh just starts cramping up so bad like n well not a cramp like a cramp mixed with a growing pain it was a it was a weird pain that I Oh, I wasn't used to feeling because I've had my legs cramp up and I know what a growing pain feels like this was something different and so intense that I was like clutching my leg and it lasted for about 10 minutes and then it subsided but my legs still ached you know in the same spot and I just ignored it. I was like, okay it must have just been a bad cramp like we were in the car for nine and a half hours today like I didn't get to stretch so whatever, chalked it up to it had to be a cramp and you normally usually me I am a hypochondriac I something goes wrong and I think I'm dying like something doesn't feel right and I think that I'm dying I and I've worked really hard this year as one of my goals is to not be such a hypochondriac and give in to my I'm freaking dying this is gonna kill me when I don't even know what's going on so I'm proud to say that I besides today I have only been to the doctors one or two other times this entire year and um, I can't tell you what because those it was back in like January and February and so I'm pretty proud of myself 
but this pain kept happening and lasting through the weekend and it was just so it was getting unbearable to a point where like, I didn't even want to walk on it and it was making my foot tingly and like where my leg and my where my leg meets my body my groin or whatever I think that's called that was like hurting and aching and so I was like okay and I like was checking out my leg going pee and maybe it's TMI but like Sunday morning Sunday evening I was checking out my leg while I was <laughs> going pee and there's like a lump on the inside of my leg and I was like oh that was not there before like I know this I have been working out my legs are toned so what is this lump and <laughs> I'm you know it's really tender there so I messaged my doctor finally because I'm like, there's a lump and pain. Like, that's not normal, dear. So I messaged my doctor and asked her if I should come see her. And she's like, yes, come see me immediately. And I'm like, okay, how do I do that? You're always freaking booked out like three weeks, Carol. Her name is actually Carol. And she's a great doctor. She's been my doctor since I was like 11 or 12. And so... I call in and they, I told them that I had been contacting my doctor and she wanted me to come in ASAP. And they're like, oh, she wants you to come in. Okay. We have an appointment in two hours. And I'm like, whoa, like how do you get, to, how do we get an appointment the day of two hours later, like from my phone call. And they said that they sometimes have, they leave like open emergency slots of like they have 15 to half an hour, like emergency slots, I guess. And so that was that. And I go and she's checking out my leg and asking me all these questions, bending it, touching it, like all that stuff. And so she's concerned about it and, and orders me up. Well, first I was going to do x-rays on my hips and then like more questions, more bending, more proking and prodding. And then she decides that I need to have an ultrasound to rule out the possibility of a blood clot. Oh, that's what it was. So first she was just gonna x-ray my hips. She thought it was more to do in my hip area. But then I told her that I had just been in the car for nine and a half hours the day it happened, the day it the pain started. So then she was like, oh my gosh, that's probably a blood clot. Well, she didn't say, oh my gosh, she's way more professional, but this is me like trying to give you this entire thought without stumbling over my words. <laughs> so exhausted because if anyone out there suffers from anxiety or panic attacks, I had one. A full-blown, like, 30-minute panic attack on the way down to the doctors. Go to my ultrasound. They, like, put all that jelly on my leg and, like, feel me up with the thing. And it was weird, and it took, like, half an hour. They also checked my other leg a tiny bit and then my calf of the leg that was in pain. Everything's good. My veins are collapsible, I guess, that's what she said, and they're flowing very well. She was like, you have some nice veins, so that's cool. It's not a blood clot. Woohoo, because I was seriously, like, I am so exhausted from worrying about the fact that it might be a blood clot and then, like, having to drive. I don't like to drive, number one. I like road trips. I like to be the passenger. Number two, I had an anxiety attack while I was driving because I thought, oh my god, am I going to have a blood clot and die? <laughs> and so I'm like so tired. I cannot believe I've been recording for eight minutes already. I don't know what this will be edited down to, but yeah. Long story short, it's not a blood clot. They don't really know what it is. Didn't get really any answers because she's like, it sounds like a strained muscle, but doesn't feel like a strained muscle. And I didn't do anything to strain it. We were on vacation, so I only worked out like maybe three times and just on the elliptical. Like nothing I'm, I did not do anything to strain my leg on vacation or the day that it happened. So I'm like, how is that possible? So she says, put heat and ice, heat and ice. And if the pain is not gone in two weeks, then they want me to come back in. And then I think she will be doing the, the, Oh, excuse me, wine burp, the hip x-rays. So I'm sorry this video has been crazy and I don't even know if you can follow my train of thought. I'm like ready to turn this off and like sit here, but I can't even just sit here and chill. I gotta go hang out with my friends because we plan to have a bonfire, which is cool. They're fine. I'm just gonna sit in the chair and start the fire Um, after I finish this glass of wine. It's literally down the road. I'm not gonna be driving, so don't freak out. But thank you guys, and I'll end this video with the picking of the winners if there was any giveaways. I believe there's at least one that I need to announce, um, and then there's one on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter too for the same thing. I think it's a Marina VP liquid. I don't think I uh, picked the winner for that yet, so thanks for sitting here. Like, oh my god, I look, I'm just completely, like, when I'm doing just an off-the-cuff video, you get to see how it really is. Like, my life is anxiety-riddled, and I'm a hypochondriac. You might not know that kind of stuff from just watching my product videos oh yeah anyway i'm done i i can't think if i'm forgetting anything and if i am i'll just tell you tomorrow because i'll have a video of, hopefully just a regular vape video up but i do have to go to the dentist tomorrow too so 
there's that. But I'm not afraid this time, and I'm terrified of the dentist, but I'm not afraid this time because they're not doing anything to my mouth. I'm getting clear braces. Yay! All right. Okay, guys. Sorry, this video was insane. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Not a winning comment. Not a winning comment. Winner. Alternative scene.